I'm going to walk you through a simple inlet leak check. It can help you catch a leak from lo a loose fitting or bad seal. Things that happen when you install a column or replace a liner. Or after the, the first few temperature cycles of the oven. There are three things I like about this test. It doesn't take much time. Also, it uses the GC flow sensor to measure the leaks, and you get feedback when you find and fix the leak. Here's a sketch of the leaks it should help you find. It finds leaks at the inlet column fitting, the gold seal, the split vent trap housing, and the vent line, the septum, and the septum nut. First, we need to check that the column dimensions are entered accurately into the GC. Next, set the inlet to splitless mode. Set the purge flow to 50 mils a minute. Next, set your column flow to 7 mils a minute. Set the septum purge flow to 3 mils a minute, then allow the inlet pressure to stabilize. The total flow should be approximately 60 mils a minute. You may have to adjust the inlet pressure to achieve your set points of the column flow. Press the prep run to shut off the purge valve. This is the split vent flow. And then change the inlet configuration. You may have to press it twice if your GC is not ready. We'll monitor the total flow from the GC display while tightening fittings. If the total flow is much greater than 10 mils a minute, there's a leak or your column settings are not accurate. Okay, we have a leak. Tighten the fittings and watch the total flow reading. Over tightening the fittings could also be a problem, so use caution. I'm gonna start from the top of the inlet and work down. First, the septum nut. Next, the closure to the liner, that yellow little lever that we did. That's not it. Now I'll try the column nut. Okay, there we are. You see how the total flow has dropped to t less than 10 mils a minute? This is probably good enough for our example. Oh, one more thing. What we did was the manual way to run the test. If you're lucky enough to be using LabAdvisor, you could select the appropriate GC and run the prep run leak check.